Hey everybody, the Bond guest back. Welcome to part 29 of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, I'm on Northern Triangle Isle right now, where we uncovered some treasure thanks to one of the charts we got on the reefs. So now we're going to see what this is. I think my next destination is actually going to be Fire Mountain. Now that I got the ice arrows, I can finally get in there. The Octo Chart. Now you know where to find the big Octos. Okay, so why don't we open this special chart right now? Why? Because can. I mean, might as well. We just won it. Oh, we haven't opened this yet either. Okay, so we got the uh, Triforce chart from that golden boat already. And apparently there's another Triforce chart on the ghost ship. We'll be dealing with that later, of course. Okay, and that actually tells you, like, what Octos are where, and how many eyes they have. The one that has four eyes, of course, has the fairy. And there's one in the upper part of the map that we haven't found yet that has 12 eyes and another heart piece. So with that in mind, I'm going to meet you at Fire Mountain right now. Give me a moment. Okay, there's Fire Mountain right over there. So get your ice arrow ready. It's at ice. And actually aim right at the top. Now that it's frozen solid, we can finally climb this thing. So let's go. In fact, you really have to go. This is only like five minutes this thing is going to stay thawed. So you better be quick. And the card rock's also going to be an issue. Let's just hope it doesn't do that. There, now that it's dead, we can finally climb this mountain with ease. Just remember, you got five minutes, so don't dawdle. But I guess even if you did dawdle, you'll still have plenty of time. But just to be on the safe side, don't waste any time. Just remember to go in this direction, you should be able to climb the mountain rather than deal with any dead ends. I guess I could have just left and used the Deku Leaf, but I feel it's much more safer to go this way. And there we go. You're very close to the top. Get out of the corner, Link. Thank you. That would have been a horrible way to waste time. Get clipped in the corner and not be able to move. Alright, so now we're actually inside the mountain. I heard that this place was supposed to be another real dungeon, but they ran out of time into making the game, so they had to use this place as a mini dungeon rather than a major one. Hey, Magtails, what's up? Okay, if you get them in the ball, use your bombs. Fire keys are also going to be very annoying. Okay, did that work? Yes, it did. No, it didn't! I think the fire keys screwed it over. No, wait, this is the other Magtail. Remember, parry attacks are the best way to deal with them. But bombs also work. Oh, looks like there's still one more. I'm a little closer. Oh my god, don't tell me I mistimed it. Man, it's only when I'm recording that I make mistakes like this. Perry just wouldn't show up. Now, that's much better. So by killing the Magtails, the treasure is now available. And you're gonna need this treasure to get to the Earth Temple. Remember, when we were at Headstone Island, we saw, like, this giant stone statue head that we actually see right here on Fire Mountain, blocking the way. With these things, the power bracelets, we don't have to worry about them. In fact, the fish actually tell you that. They tell you to go to these coordinates, and they give you the strength to do this. Yeah, that's power right there! Now, that's one way to get a hernia, that's for sure. Lifting a statue that big. But in any case, we finally got the treasure. Actually, why don't we make like a minor detour? Not a major one, just a minor one. I think I'll meet you back at, say, Bomb Island. Why don't you give me a minute or two? Alright, we're back in some familiar territory here. Hopefully I don't need to use too many bombs, because I only have like nine left. I still gotta remember to head over to Beetles and maybe buy some if I can't find any on my own. 
I mean, I should be able to with relative ease, but it's still getting a bit frustrating at this point. Let me just... I don't want arrows. I got 60 of them. Why don't you give me something I only have 8 of? Oh my god. Okay, maybe I should just use the boomerang on this part. Any bombs? Nope, that's a fairy! Well, I don't need a fairy, I need bombs! Oh, lots of rupees here. That's very nice. I mean, rupees are not bad either. I could always use some rupees. So what I should do is go to the top of this place, right over here. Oh, there's another merchant. So why don't I go show you this pinwheel? Oh, no, I don't want, I want to keep it. Oh, I guess I have to talk to him first. Hey, have we met before somewhere? Aren't you? No, couldn't be. Me, you're a poor traveling merchant. You want to open your own shop? Yes, I happen to have something. Like this. Huh? Why, that's a pinwheel, isn't it? In that case, would you be interested in trading that for this sickle moon flag? Okay. 40 rupees. Well, that's not too bad. That's another thing to trade. A bright red crescent moon is quite fancy. Well, it kind of is, actually. That does look like a very nice flag. So now we formed a merchant's oath. Good. Tsunari will be very happy with that. Oh, bombs! Good. So my shortage is kind of placated for now. Not by a lot, but hey... 12 bombs is much better than 7 bombs. The reason I wanted to go to Bomb Island was to go to this little grotto right over here. So we're gonna get ourselves another heart piece for the first time in a while. To think, first time in a while getting a heart piece. Okay, there's a switch over here. But I'm gonna need something to weigh it down. And this is the only way to do it. You're gonna need a magtail in a ball. Anything? Oh, that's easy. Oh, it gets harder later. Because now you got these switches found in rings of fire. And you gotta throw the magtail ball into them. Okay, I don't understand why you have to have a switch over there. Because it's such a narrow walkway. Just go like one millimeter off and you're gonna slide. Completely slide. That means it's a good idea to take your time, ease in there slowly. Okay, now that should allow me to move further in this little mini dungeon. Damn it. That's okay, the switch will still be activated. So I don't have to go through that little walkway again. Now you just have to go on this walkway. Ah, whoa, that was close. Now we get to this part. Now this is where it gets tricky. Because there's two switches you gotta take care of. You gotta throw it just right. Yeah, and believe it or not, even if you throw it in the hole, you can still miss the switch. As evidence right there. Now, you don't want to use parries, because that'll kill the magtail. But if you kill one, they'll just bring in another for you. So that's very nice, I guess. But you have to throw it almost perfect. Are you kidding me? Alright, I got an idea. It doesn't work. I thought I could actually push it in there. The bad thing about these magtails, they tend to be very close to the edge, so if you knock them off the wrong way, they can fall. Believe it or not, I got the hardest switch first. 
Because you have to skip it over one platform so you can land on the other. Now, the easiest one is going to give me a little bit of trouble. Got it! Okay, now we can finally get this treasure. And I don't want to slide off because I don't have to walk all the way back from the beginning. And there we go. We finally get the heart piece on Bomb Island. So two more and I'll get an HP upgrade. Rather than walk all the way... I'm just gonna do this on purpose, so I'll get sent back to the beginning of the room. Okay, I'm gonna meet you at Headstone Island now that I have the power bracelets. Be right back. Alright, we made it to Headstone Island. Thankfully, you can just warp from outset and then just go east, and there you are. Doesn't take that long to get there. So now that I have the power bracelets, that statue head is nothing to worry about. Like, who is that, is that supposed to be, anyway? I know it looks like the Olmec symbols, like the Olmec Indians used to make, but come on. There appear to be markings that indicate specific directions. Oh, these are big songs here. You gotta do this in 6-4 mode. Oh, I can practice this just fine. There. Link looks so into it. The Earth God's Lyric. Awesome. So I'm gonna need that song to actually get in here. Problem is, there's a musical instrument on that little crest. And I don't have a harp. Oh, great hero, chosen by the Master Sword. My name is Laruto. I am a Zora Sage. For an age, I offered my prayers here in the Earth Temple, praying that the power to repel evil would ne ever remain within the Master Sword. And yet, unfortunately, due to Ganondorf's evil designs, the Master Sword you hold has lost its power. After his defeat at the hands of the Hero of Time, Ganondorf was sealed away, but not for all time. He was revived, and he returned to Hyrule in a Red Wrath. He attacked his temple and stole my soul, knowing that he had to remove the power contained in that enchanted blade. In order to return the power to repel evil to your sword, you must find another to take my stead in this temple and ask the gods for their assistance. You must find the one who carries on my bloodline, the one who holds this sacred instrument. Nothing can stop the flow of time or the passing of generations, but the fate carried within my bloodline endures the ravages of all the years. It survives. The song you just conducted is one which will open the eyes of the new sage and awaken within that sage the melody that will carry our prayers to the gods. The door that blocks your way will only open when the sage plays that song. May the winds of fortune blow with you. Well, at least you're telling the winds of fortune to blow with me and not blow me. That would have been very insulting. Then I'll just say, well, screw this, Ganondorf can have this world then. You're gonna be that rude to me. Now, I do remember there was one person that actually had a harp. And it's actually Medley over at Dragon Roost Islands, which is where we need to go right now. So let's get to it. Thankfully, we can just warp directly to Dragon Roost Island. There's also a couple other things I can do on that island in the meantime. Remember, I do have at least 20 golden feathers. And I believe there's another place I can go to now that I have bombs. It's not required, but it is optional. Well, actually, if it's not required, it's optional. But it'll help you get some more money. And money is going to be very important at a time like this. Huh, in case you thought I was crazy, someone's playing the harp right now! Okay, so the place I was talking about that is optional is actually near the Wind God Shrine. Around here, there's a big boulder. Destroy it, and it should lead to a hidden grotto. 
And I figured, hey, since we're here, why not show it off? Besides, it does yield a good reward in the form of money. So in all reality, this may actually seem like an endless room. What you have to do is you have to go through each door, not counting the one you just came from, and kill all the enemies. When you kill them, a torch on the top of the door will light up. Luckily, this one's quite easy. It's just a bunch of keys. Kill all the enemies, and you light up a torch. But don't go through the door you just gone through. Just go through a different door instead. One that actually does have a torch on top. That's not lit yet, of course. Don't go to the one that's already lit. It looks like in each pot you're gonna find rupees. So that's pretty much the significant theme of this place. It's a place to get lots of money. Well, not necessarily a huge lot, but more than what you have right now. Every little bit's gonna count. Trust me on this one. Huh, the cobblins. Lucky for you, I don't need to take your joy pendants. I just need to take your life. That's fine by me! There we go. Luckily, some of these jars also have hearts if you're low on health. But at this point, you really shouldn't be because these enemies are quite easy. Okay, I haven't gone through this one yet. What kind of enemies are we going to run into here? Ah, uh, choo-choos. Just the red ones. Not that it would matter which color. Either way, they're finished. Okay, now we can finally go through this door. If you let up all the other rooms, this one's now available to you. And in that, is the main treasure you came here in the first place. Not to mention, each jar has, like, a lot of rupees. Not a significant lot, but I mean, it's more than one. Like, there's probably like around almost 20 per side. Open the tr chest link. So you do all that for 50 rupees. It would have been much better if it was 100, but hey, 50 rupees is 50 rupees. That can mean the difference somewhere. So don't complain. Anyways, I think we should finally head to the top of the mountain and go to where Medley is. I think there is another secret cave you can go to around here as well. Though I haven't exactly pinpointed its location, I might do that another time. Maybe later on, once I do some exploring, I'll show off where it is. But it actually has something to do with the bomb flowers that are on the wall. If you don't know what I mean, just look over there. Normally, you can just use, like, a Hawaii pair, and then just use the seagull to ram right into it. Or you can probably just use your arrows. And cause a chain reaction, which should lead over there. I don't know if it exactly leads to a dungeon, but it might. In that case, it is a good idea to try to set that off. I'm still glad that I created that shortcut. It's gonna make going through this place a lot faster. Okay, the harp sound's getting louder the higher up we go. So we're very close to where we need to be. In the meantime, I guess it wouldn't hurt to say hi to everybody by not acknowledging they exist and then only acknowledge the one person I really want to talk to. I have no idea why she wants a golden feather. Yeah, I know. Women, am I right? Always wanting feathers. Hey, that's what my girlfriend wants! A golden feather! Yeah, I'm gonna let you have 20 of those. Okay, you're gonna send me a letter? So you'll get a hundred rupees, but don't worry, you'll get the heart piece in the mail later on. 
So don't get nervous. You didn't do this just for 100 rupees. Alright, I believe the next place we had to go is over this way. And for the first time in a while, you're gonna be using the grappling hook. Well, outside the boat at least. Damn it. There we go. And this is the way we need to go. Hmm, it looks like there might be something up here. But first... Oh, Link! You're okay! You know, Prince Kamal has been asking me all about your adventures, Link. I can rest easy now that I've seen you safe and sound with my own eyes. Prince Kamal has turned into a fine young adult, hasn't he? Recently, he's even begun doing things on his own, without my guidance. Every conversation still ends up centered on you, though, Link. Watching Prince Kamali grow up fills me with pride, but it makes me a little sad as well. I wonder if this is how a mother feels. Oh, but just listen to me go on. How weird I must sound, hee <laughs> hee. Well, I better continue practicing so I can be useful around here too. Performing music like this is an important duty of an attendant. Wait, Valu likes music? Yeah, I guess it could make sense. Even giant beasts could use a simple soothing. Hey! Is that the Wind Waker? Wow! Link, will you conduct me? I wonder how I'll do. Eh, you'll probably suck. But do this song just right. Well, I guess you're a quick learner after all. Hmm. What a mysterious song. It sounds so... familiar. It's almost as if something I've forgotten is trying to be... remembered. Oh, I feel... Drop her! Drop her! I still don't understand how the Zoras and the Rito are related. I mean, one's an aquatic race, and the other is flies! So yeah, it doesn't make sense to me, but this is a very pivotal cutscene we're seeing right here. Because at this point, uh, Medley is, is coming to the realization that she is descended from the Earth Sage. Yep, so now your fate is sealed, Medley. And of course, the Master Sword in its present form. Not as large, but... Hey, it's not necessarily to scale. Hey, you're tripping out, woman. What's wrong with you? Just now, a sage spoke to me. She spoke so gently. No, she didn't. She didn't say anything. There's something... something that I must do. Link, thanks to you, I've been awakened to the knowledge that I'm a sage of the Earth Temple. There's actually something that I can do to help this world. It's incredible. I bet my teacher knew all about this. Link, please! You must take me to the Earth Temple. We must hurry and wake the power to repel evil that sleeps within the Master Sword. Let's go now, quickly and quietly. Oh, Kamali. I just want him to remember me as a simple attendant.
I'm sure deep down he does. Alright, so now I'm going to stop the video right here, and next part, we're going to the Earth Temple. See ya, everybody.